It is a very historic day. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway is now under new ownership for the first time in decades. Our Karen Campbell tells us tonight why this big decision was made and how race fans are responding. It's an announcement many were surprised to hear the sale of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The generation's owned family business is now in the hands of the Penske Corporation. The Holman George family owned it since 1945. Tony Holman George says the family's decision was emotionally difficult, but it was a decision under consideration for a long time. I think we all realize that as, as a family and as an organization, we probably had taken it as far as we can. At the helm is Roger Penske. The Hoosiers that support this, uh, you know, all over the state, you know, want to see this become and still be the iconic race of the world. So we're going to do this a step at a time. Former race car driver and team owner Sarah Fisher says it will be tough for many people to accept change. I think that's what's so important about who did this, who bought this. It's, it's a person who appreciates uh, the history, the tradition, who appreciates the community. For what this guy does, everything he touches turns to gold, and he's got a piece of gold in his pocket already. Pinsky says when his dad dropped him off here back in 1951, he was just 14 years old. He said that's when he got the bug of motor racing in his blood, and he wants the people and fans to know that good things are coming for the future of IMS. Karen Campbell, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Our Thank sports you. director, Dave Calabro, works the PA out at the track. He also knows mm -hmm. Roger Penske well, and tonight he weighed in on this historic change. He was heading home from Pittsburgh after covering the Colts game. Here's why Dave says he's calling this purchase a win-win situation. And how about this news? Roger Penske taking over the iconic Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I think this is a good fit for both sides, and here's why. The Speedway has been a part of the Holman George family for 74 years. They've done so much for the state of Indiana and, of course, the racing world. And I've had the pleasure of working as a part-time employee at the Speedway since 1985. And the Holman George family has been nothing but first class. And I think they sold the track to the right person. You see, Roger Pinsky shares that same passion for the 500, just like the rest of us. And I think he'll make all the right moves to make this place really grow into the future. So I think this is a win-win situation for everybody. You can read more on our website tonight, including the history of the track. Just go to WTHR.com.